Hi, everybody. Justine Frolker here, author, speaker, corporate trainer, and certified Daring Way and Dare to Lead facilitator. This is a space where we talk about courageous resilience in a really imperfect way with a lot of animated emotion and where I teach you the skills, tools, and language to walk out in courage. And most of all, I model the work for you because that's my, my greatest superpower. We are in a series where we are talking about empathy and what a superpower it is. This is the fourth and final video in a series. So if you want to get caught up, those links are down below. No matter where you're watching or listening, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube, did I already say that one? Uh, or a podcast player. Thank you for being here. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. So... There's two pieces to this. What if someone is not empathic with us? Why should we be empathic with them? I, there's two things to this for me. One, yep, the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I mean, we've all been taught that. I think the banner was at the top of my kindergarten room. I, I mean, not that I... Could we read in kindergarten back in this when I was in kindergarten, <laughs> the 80s, um, you give them empathy because you want empathy from them. For those of us who follow Jesus, for me, it is also Christ-like to love one another well, to um, serve them well with the empathic skill set that I believe Jesus really embodied and showed us so much in the gospels. The other thing is, is in order to do so, we first also need to give it to ourselves. I've taught this for as long as I can remember. We cannot give what we do not have. I used to think this applied to things just like care. I, that like, we must take care of ourselves in order to take care of others. We must love ourselves in order to love others. I firmly believe this still. Throughout the years, I've also really uh, received and learned uh, that this also applies to some of those bigger human experiences that tend to be tougher. Things like in order to forgive others, it really helps if we forgive ourselves. In order to extend grace and generosity to others, we must extend grace and generosity to ourselves. We cannot give what we do not have. How, how do you expect to? This applies for empathy. Now, Kristen Neff is the um, self-compassion researcher. I love her stuff. I'll link her website down below. She talks about self-compassion, to speak kindly to yourself, to remember that we are never alone, and to be mindful of the emotional responses that we are experiencing. What would it be like for you to extend the skill set of empathy to yourself? Empathy is not babying ourselves, placating ourselves, poop and rainbows and butterflies. It is also not shaming and judging and blaming and convincing ourselves. It is speaking kindly to ourselves to speak kindly to others. If I beat myself up all day long and I'm just real shitty to myself, the well's empty. I have nothing left to give. Stop going to an empty well looking for water. This includes your own. Empathy is to sit beside and identify with the emotions that someone might be feeling if they're going through struggle. To love and lead others well. To meet them with empathy, we must first love and lead ourselves well and meet ourselves with empathy. And yep, we're going to extend it first to them. Because sometimes they just need that modeling. And since it's connection, I mean, anything can happen. So thanks for joining me for the series. I hope it helped. If you have other questions, um, I'll do another video. If you like me to discuss anything further, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.